now I can begin this big right problem. perfect um, let's get straight into it let me check if my framing is good framing is good welcome back to the Griff Show Live. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to something very strange and it's not the tragic, genuinely tragic death of Stan Lee. It's something a bit more lighthearted. Uh, I know I haven't been around recently. I'm gonna fix that. But, sorry for the background noise by the way. <sighs> Warner Brothers and, what is it? Like, it's not Illumination. Why do I keep wanting to say Illumination? I was talking about the Grinch earlier. What is it? It'll say at the beginning of the trailer. Between. God damn it. Whatever. Um, some big, like, industry titan. They did Inception. They did Jurassic World. Uh, all sorts. Have just released a trailer for a new movie that they're making. Starring Ryan Reynolds of Deadpool and various chick flick fame. And I'm sure you can already see what it is by what's on the screen right now. But I, I just, I've seen this like 15 times. It's surreal. It, I do not know how this exists. When I first saw this, I thought it was April Fool's Day when I saw this. And then I realized it's November. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to be stopping this a lot. Welcome to Rhyme City. So two things, two things more than two things a million things jump out of me instantly firstly that's bill nye i'm reasonably sure that's bill nye's voice in fact if we go to the imdb page for this film right it's a full screen if we go to the imdb page for this film we look at the cast section it, it says the bill nye's in this film and it sure bloody sounds like that's his voice uh moving on we see these photorealistic Pokemon here. We've got the bird guy there, over here. we got these weird flying flower people that I... we got the, the Axolotl. I don't remember any Pokemon names, except the ones that like common knowledge. I don't really know that many Pokemon names. But look at the level of detail in here. I'm gonna just ignore the... I'm just gonna ignore the message sounds. Look at the level of detail here, especially the back here. These... These signs with the Pokemon on them uh, is cr oh my f the amazing. I forget what I was talking about. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. There's so much more to to dissect in this. A celebration of the look again. I can't believe there are no words. Humans and Pokemon. Humans and Pokemon. Uh, Bill Nye's voice there saying the word Pokemon. Human. Here we see some kind of. This is a multi-layered, this is a multi-layered image right here. So not only do we have an actual Pokemon, we got Psyduck down there next to this tired looking woman. But we've also got inflatable Gengar and Jigglypuff. And what look in the background to be men dressed up as Squirtles. Perhaps a parade. Celebrating, That's, that would be the equivalent of someone throwing a parade around dogs uh, or cats. I, I take that back. Someone's probably already done that. It's probably an annual event somewhere. Moving on. And Legendary. Look at this. Look at these. Look at these credits here. Legendary pictures. Warner Brothers. And then the Pokemon Company. This is. I I find it very hard to believe this is real. And also look at that color palette. We'll get back to the color palette in a second. It's insane. So we've got a protagonist here. Your dad was a legend in this precinct. I know that voice. That is the the guy from Inception. The Japanese guy from Inception. What Watanabe, I think the actor's name is. Ken Watanabe, there he is, there he was on the thing. Ken Watanabe, yeah, there he is. Rita Ora, is that who that was or was it Catherine Newton? I know it looks I guess it was Catherine Newton. Insane. They've got Bill Nye and Ken Watanabe, big boys. If you are anything like your dad. There he is, no. I remember. So what was that? Was he, in, was he in the Oasis from Ready Player One in that shot? What's going on there? And look at this. This is going back to the, 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 the palette and the aesthetic in general. 
like if you take out the car here, this could be a low budget Blade Runner. But then the car's all rounded and cutesy. It, it, I I'll remember. get back to it. I'll get back to it. I get you a wanted to be a Pokemon colorful. trainer when you were young. So the Sinnoh Championships. And he said you wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Implying that they're in Sinnoh. But Sinnoh doesn't look like that, I don't think. I'm not a Pokemon expert. But I don't think Sinnoh looks like that. Yeah, that didn't really work out. How's that? Uh, adult leaving town is that a joke leaving town leaving town to i rhyme city that's where we are now because it said at the beginning bill nye said at the beginning rhyme town yeah rhyme town and i hear Come someone skittering about and he takes out when i first saw this i thought he actually had a gun but he does and he has a stapler, but the fact that he's holding it like a gun means that guns exist in the Pokemon world. Just hold, think about that for Wherever a second. Wherever you are, I know how to use this. Look at that oh, thing. Jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand me. But put That's Ryan That's Ryan Reynolds' voice coming out of a Pikachu. Stapler or Look at that. I'm not sure how I feel about that, because it looks it looks good, it moves ah. really smoothly. Uh, it looks like it could do the comedy very well if there's comedy, uh, like slapstick. But it's also very cute, which I thought they wouldn't be able to pull off. It looks exactly like those uh, IRL Pokemon fan arts that you'd see go viral uh, years ago. The eyes are the only bit that kind of unsettle me. But everything else is pretty spot on. Uh, the hat fits very nicely. Um, also, why is it not Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito would have been perfect. Imagine it. I know you can't hear me, but I'm the trash man. Great. I will electrocute now it's you frozen. down the stapler, or I will electrocute you. Wait, let me stapler, just take that back. Or I will. Is it just me, or does he look kind of weird when he blinks? It's like instead of his eyes closing, they like squish in. Electrocute you. The movements, as I said, are very nice. It doesn't. Did you? The CG did, doesn't look like it's part of the environment, but I don't really mind that because I know it's not real anyway. It's Pokemon. Did you talk. Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my. Oh man, Ryan Reynolds' buttery voice is just so good. Buttery, not battery. Uh, but again, the blinking on the eyes is kind of freaking me out. The eyes in general. But the rest of the Pikachu, it looks pretty good, honestly. Oh my god, you can understand me! Stop! I've been so lonely! They try to talk to me all the time. I don't know what those things are on top of the stall there. But again, you can't tell me this doesn't look like Blade Runner. This looks like the beginning of the first film. When when the guy, he's like, That man over there! Was that racist? Oops. But that's what, that's what he says. And, and then Harrison Ford's like, No! I, it's, you got the wrong guy! It looks like that place. It totally looks like that place. Moving on. I'm all the here. Great, great little screenshot there. My God, you can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Uh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika. Yeah. Pika Pika Pika. He's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no. Um. I never played Detective Pikachu because I don't like point-and-click games, and apparently that's what it was. Was this plot point in there? And also, is this plot point like explained in the film? I'm really scared it's gonna be one of those things. I'll explain why after the advert's over. No one else hear him! You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I don't need a Pokemon, period. Then what about a world-class detective? Because if you want to find your pops... But, uh, there is a car a crash in this Pokemon movie, because guys. You want to find your pops? Look at that. That's I'm a fiery man. burning wreck. Because if you want to find your that pops... That is pure terror right there. Your... Uh, missing. Squirtle Pokemon. That's his full name. But it looks just like a, any other Squirtle. Maybe I'm racist for saying that. Or oh, Pokemon different. It just seems pointless to me. I know what a Squirtle looks like. Come on, you don't have to put a picture there. Your best bet. I suppose it's the same with cats and dogs. They all kind of look the same. We're gonna do this. Come on. You and me. Again. Your the colors bet. 
and the light we'll is going to do this. stop freezing. You and me. They're really nice. I like the colors of the lights. You that. And me. That's great. That doesn't look great. That looks kind of fake. Looks like a fan thing. Also, what are those weird mushrooms flying around? I haven't seen that Pokemon before. I'm guessing this will be like a scene where po Pikachu's been hurt and he's taking him to get healed just by the way we see him there holding Pikachu. I, I like this shot here for a couple reasons. Number one, the fact it looks just like a gritty cafe complete with like a, <laughs> a wrestling poster in the back for Pokemon. I like that detail. But also like the hyper-realistic Jigglypuff that looks like it's put someone to sleep. I like that. That's, that's funny. That's a good joke. And then looks angry. Hyper-realistic Charizard is scary. There's magic that brought us together, and that magic... Again, it's like... It's like a Michael There's Bay magic. film. Look at that. Transformers 17 Pokemon. That brought us together, and that magic... So she's got a Charizard, and he's got a... a Pikachu. I'm guessing that's that his whole thing's gonna be, I used to want to be a Pokemon trainer when I was a kid, but then I grew up. And now I'm an edgy teen, and I hate Pokemon, because my dad went missing, and he had a Pokemon, and now I hate Pokemon, because my dad had a Pokemon. And I threw it to film, he's gonna learn to like Pokemon again, because blah blah blah. There's magic that brought us together, and that magic is called hope. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but it looks kind of cool. I guess, except those trees in the background there don't look proportionally accurate. Neither do these ones. I think there's some proportion screwery, screwery, screwery. Try saying that even once. Screwery. There's some proportion screwery. Wow, screw, screwery. There's some, there's some proportion. Oh wow, I can't even speak at all now. That, that way, screw. S there's some proportion screwy happening here. Let's pretend that was all right. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Pipe. Yes. Okay. I can. Shoving. I mean, this could be. Pushing. My problem is that I push people away and I hate scene. them for leaving. And that was a funny, that was a funny joke from Ryan Reynolds there. Ryan Reynolds, Pikachu. This could be a funny scene. I mean, it's a funny scene. Shove it. What? I can shove it? Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. No, 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 no we're not cops. <laughs> and him hitting against him. Well, it's funny, and it shows knowledge of the Pokemon. So, I mean, maybe there's potential there? In my head, I saw that differently. That wasn't a good line. And look at that. What's happening there? Is that the... Uh, I'm guessing maybe the bad guy uses Greninjas then? Because we've seen them attacking the camera multiple times. Whoa. I don't know what's going on there. See that shot? That shot screws with me. Let me, let me explain why. Take the speed way down. Firstly, it's the blood curdling scream in the background. Secondly, the anger in Charizard's eyes. Thirdly, this photorealistic Charizard going for a photorealistic Pikachu opens its mouth and you can see the saliva. I never thought I'd be in such a place in my life where I'd be able to see the saliva in a, a hungry Charizard's mouth as it comes towards a poor defenseless Pikachu. I, I thought that would only be saved for Grimdark fan fiction, but apparently it's in actual films now. So uh, that's the world we live in, folks. Better get used to it. Take the Pikachu. Looks like Pac Man on the logo. That's the advert. So that's, that's the ad. I don't want to talk about a few things here. Because I looked this up, and according to Google, Alex Hirsch is credited as working on the screenplay. And I thought, whoa, Alex Hirsch of Gravity Falls fame. Apparently, uh, I've heard some accusations that he's not so 
cool with his business practices, but I don't know the guy. I don't know. They're just accusations. Unsubstantiated. But I know that what he's made in the past is 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 good. Gravity Falls is amazing. But if you go to his Twitter, he says uh, someone asks, uh, Alex Hirsch, is Detective Pikachu using your script? Haha, <laughs> nope. I was asked to be involved in very early brainstorming conversations, but I left early on to pursue other projects and never wrote a page of script. Hollywood, baby. For some reason, news outlets continue to report that I wrote this movie. Nerds of the internet, please correct this misinformation when it arises. Uh... Pen, pe, pedants and sticklers, I choose you. So Alex Hirsch did not work in this film. So who did? Nicole Perlman. Let's check out Nicole Perlman. Uh, having worked on Guardians of the Galaxy. Captain Marvel, I haven't slowed yet. I mean, seen yet. But Guardians of the Galaxy. Brilliant film. Brilliant film. One of the best Marvel movies. There could be potential there. I haven't seen these other films, The Slows and Challenger, but there could be. But that's all she's listed for. There you go, Nicole Perman. Writing, a, she wrote the script after two years of researching and writing most of the original script before James Gunn came onto the project. If she wrote a good portion of the script for that film. Brilliant. There's potential there. But it doesn't end there. Rob Letterman. Now I was looking through these, I thought Alex Hirsch. Turns out he's not involved in the project. Nicole Perlman. Great. Could be great. Rob Letterman. What's he known for? He's a director by uh by, by trade. What has he worked on? Shark Tale. Monsters vs. Aliens. Gulliver's Travels. And Goosebumps. Those are the, pretty much the only things. He's listed for. Uh, let's check his Wikipedia. To see what else he's written. He uh, was in a pre-production for Shrek. Captain Underpants. Executive Producer. Honestly, this guy kind of makes me think it might not. Kind of, kind of puts me off a little bit. So let's see Nicole Perlman. Uh, political stuff. A lot of political stuff. Nothing about Detective Pikachu though. Is this even the right? Is this even the right thing? It is. Weird. All right, well, cool, I guess. I, I just, the more I look into this, the more I'm torn. I want it to be good, because it looks like one of those films that you look at and think, that's, that's going to be garbage, there's no way that could be good. And then it shocks you, like the Lego movie. Do you remember when the Lego movie was announced and we were like, uh, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be terrible. And then it was amazing. I feel like... Half of me feels like it'll be like that. And the other half of me feels like this will just be... This will be something so confusing as to why it exists when you watch it. That you, you your brain just explodes. It's confusing. It truly is. And I can't for the life of me find the director. I can't find... So he did direct it. He didn't just do the screenplay. He directed it. I don't know about that. He, his last live action film was Goosebumps. How was that directed? I can kind of, now, now I think about it. Having seen Goosebumps, I was a big, I'm a big fan of Goosebumps. Not the film, the books. I, I love them as a kid. Having seen the Goosebumps movie, I can see the, the resemblance. 
But that wasn't a good movie. I really wanted to like it when I saw it. But it wasn't good. And I feel like this is going to be exactly the same. With this guy writing and directing. I really feel like this will just be goosebumps again. Thanks for joining me on this 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 little peruse at the new Detective Pikachu movie. Please feel free to go to my YouTube and check out The Grith Show Not Live on my YouTube. Follow me on Twitter to get uh, the... When I find out about these kinds of things even quicker, I usually tweet about them before I do anything else. Please. I hope you enjoyed. And I am fascinated to see what this film is going to be. Bye-bye now. Go and watch my show. There's a new episode every week on YouTube. Grith on YouTube. I don't know if it's youtube.com slash grith, but don't try it. Just go to the search bar, type in grith. Grith. I I'll shut up. I I'm, I'm just... I'm confused by this film. It confuses me. My wrist hurts from holding that microphone for so long. Goodbye.